Hello citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft Hardcore. That's right, we are in our hardcore survival world, and uh, we're going to do a couple things today to get this kind of moving along. We're going to gather some materials really quickly. We are going to go ahead and um, also set up our first farm uh, because we need to start those villager trades. I really do want to use the villagers as a way for us to advance in the game uh, more so than mining if possible. So trading with them to get our armor and our weapons and other things we might need. I also need to gather the materials for our comment question of the day. So we will need to put together a handy dandy book and quill that we'll use going forward. So we're going to go ahead and gather some cows, maybe make a, uh, a little cow pen over here. Um, lure them over and uh, you know we could actually use our leaves that we got from our uh, dispatching of the uh, wandering trader uh, to get them over here but uh, yeah we're gonna do all that today so if that sounds like a plan then let's get started and here we are on the lovely day seven and as you can see I went ahead and just completed this really quick here drop the trap door in, put those ladders up there just so we had a way to get up and down to this top floor and we'll just pop up really quick take a look uh, nothing special uh, but I thought we could go ahead and just put a bunch of chests up here and this could be like just a storage room for us um, I don't know if we'll put the bed up here we might uh, it, it's kind of nice to have it accessible for when you're running in and out so we may do that we may not do that um, don't know yet oh we do need to finish the rest of this roof and get that done um, but let's go ahead and see if we can find ourselves some of the cows our, our bovine friends really quick uh, just so we can lead them back over and get a little breeding setup going so we have a uh, steak and leather and I remember yeah there we are okay I was like I know we have cows over here somewhere and I do have leads with us I didn't go ahead and grab the wheat that we don't need that because we have our leads and I hope everybody's doing well today um, here in the Pacific Northwest, we actually got some sun, which is nice after after a couple of days of rain. Uh, that's quite common here, but uh, yeah, bring these guys around. And I do have to make a little fenced off area for them. I The town may have one, actually. We might be able to just use, actually, I think there might be one in the town. We might be able to use the one in the town for this. So let's get these guys over here. Yep, okay. Still coming along. We do have some sugar cane growing over there. We need to spread that out so we get a, a nice little growth going. Like I said, we do need some farms going here as well. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll stick these guys right here against this fence post for now until we build a little corral for them. That's good. Okay. You guys stay right here. Okay. Yeah, once we get a corral going, um, then we can uh, have farms maybe right here, uh, clear this area, make uh, some really nice farms for us. So we have tons and tons of trading goods for our villagers. One of the best trades that we're going to get is we're going to take some of those uh, leather workers uh, areas down and we are going to make, and I don't have enough flint yet, but we're going to make uh, Fletcher tables because you can do a stick trade and I think that is one of the most powerful trades in this game so let's see if we can go ahead and get um, how many fence will we need for this I think we're gonna need quite a bit of fencing so I don't know if we'll have enough actually to do that much let's see now I don't have hardly anything at all here that is not gonna be enough wood for us going forward do we have oak in here no oak hmm okay we may have to do a little bit of a, uh, let's go ahead and get the spruce and maybe we do spruce fences. It doesn't really go with the rest of the town, but um, we can always take this down a little bit later. This is what I started before. Uh, when you're doing these mega trees like this, I like to just kind of go around um, like this and then you go up uh, just one and spiral, spiral your way around. Uh, further on in the game, when you have an elytra, you can go ahead and uh, fly up to the top of these trees. Um, you can also use uh, scaffolding to go up really quickly to the top and then just like go all the way down and then uh, knock the scaffolding down uh, with your uh, 
with your axe once you're down at the bottom of the, the build and it all comes down again and then you're back to the back to the base and that's a quick way of doing this too but this works fine for us uh, especially early game so we'll keep on working our way up here and you should let me know in the comments um, if uh, you want me to go ahead and edit some of these scenes out because uh, right now I'm kind of treating this like a, um, a stream where I'm just kind of talking and doing normal Minecraft stuff like I would normally do in real time. Uh, but if it gets a little bit too slow or too boring, uh, we might want to go ahead and uh, cut that stuff out a little bit. I don't want to bore you guys too much. I would like uh, everybody to be pretty happy to be here and uh, watching the videos. And after the 30 some minute long video last time too, I'm gonna make this one a little bit shorter. I don't I don't think we need to go quite that long on a on an episode. That was that was a bit overkill if you ask me. Somehow I get like lost track of time. I think it was because uh, I I tend to have a a weird um, day in between episodes because I had to do my uh, intro and outro and. Uh, I can never really do that on the first take, so it does take me a little bit of time, and I end up burning more time doing those than uh, would be good for this series. So I may want to, uh, you know, we could we could do like a maybe skip a day in between, and that's where I do resource gathering, and the rest of the time we do builds. But love to hear from you in the comments. Also, let me know how you guys are doing. Um, I know this has been a kind of a crazy year uh, with a lot of people in lockdown and uh, not being able to go to school and uh, go to college and uh, doing things remote and uh, putting some things on hold for a long time. And I do worry about everybody out there. Uh, we've we've been able to get it along here. My family, we have uh, two kids in college and uh, one in, uh, in uh, middle school and um, we've been able to keep safe and, you know, it is pretty boring, but, uh, better, better safe than, uh, um, too exciting there, right? So let's go on. We finished one ax. We can leave this here like this for now. Our weird corkscrew tree. And we can build, hopefully this end quickly. We can get some cattle burning, <laughs> cattle burning, breeding, some cattle breeding is what I meant to say. For some reason, I was thinking about burning daylight. That's what we're doing right now. Um, okay. Let's see, let's go ahead and just get a whole bunch of sticks. And we'll get... Convert all those. I think we're just going to make, go ahead, make a lot of fencing just so we can use this for other things too if we need to. And uh, we'll swap this here. And we're going to make a couple... Uh, okay. We're gonna do that <laughs> and we'll do a gate and then we'll go ahead and make a uh, another gate too because I like to have two with uh, animals just makes it easier to get in and out of the area for us oh darn it did the wrong one did it again all right here we go we need this is the hard part about talking and doing this stuff at the same time I, I kind of like zone out as I'm talking, I lose a uh, kind of a train of thought. You might just want to go to sleep. Do this again tomorrow. These Minecraft days, they do go quick, don't they? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll put our little temporary home for our cows. Um, do it over here. By where we have our uh, little mine that way we can uh, keep this area open for our crops and we can also uh, go ahead and uh, have a nice space for our wall going around the, the build right there so skip one two skip on going over this way so that it actually is there it's just not showing up okay. Huh. Super weird. It wasn't there. It just glitched. Go over this way. 
We can use that tree. Not a big deal. Okay. Put our fence gates in. There. Yeah, for now. Bring our cows in. And then I think I'll go and see if I can steal some wheat. Oh, we have all those. Never mind. We have all those hay bales. That is not going to be a problem. Pull these dudes in. Without them getting stuck on the fence. There we go. Huh. Might have to actually stick this guy right here. There we go. Okay, I will be back and we will breed you guys. Nice thing about the new village um, build since uh, we have the village and village update is all of these awesome hay bales around this is a great source of early game food too uh, but using them to breed up your animals uh, so you can get the higher quality food stocks is also equally good so i think that'll be enough for now let's go over here one more lead in there oh, a mistake Okay, got the leads. Get out of here. Oh, we got our parrots and the bats, our first breeding pair. Okie dokie. Now, I think what we should do is probably finish this roof. And we'll just keep coming over here. And uh, as we need to uh, keep feeding those cows and breeding them up so we have a decent amount of cows for leather. And we're going to go ahead and grab this and this. Um, do we have stairs? I think we need some more of these stairs. I don't think I have any in there. Okay, we'll put you in there as well. And I think that's plenty of stuff right there. Okay. These guys in here like that. You go right there. And we'll go ahead and make some more stairs. And then we'll go over and use the, um, go over here to the base table to get stairs because of the better conversion rate. Okay, so let's do, uh, uh, what do you think? 24? 24 stairs for right now? It's probably good. So we have this side done for the most part. We don't have this right here. And we're going to come, you want to come off of this? Yeah. We'll just come off of here like this, come around. So we do want a little bit variance in height. And then when I get up there, I can put that last one. Oh no, can I get this one in here? I can. Yeah, I can do that. I can't get that one right there. All right. Oh, before we get up to the top of the roof, um, let's go ahead and get stuff for the top of the fireplace. So. We're going to need, um, I don't have any charcoal left. Let's see, get you out of there and we can go ahead and, uh, go ahead and burn some logs. Oh, no bueno. Okay. Here, because when you burn logs, you can get charcoal out of it. That's a, you're not getting coal and since you have been mining, that is going to be our best chance of getting charcoal. We will also want to have uh, some trap doors. Let's get four of those. And we're going to want a wall. Do I have a wall in here? I do not. Okay. I'm going to get a wall too. That. And anything else besides a fire? Uh, campfire. I don't think so. Let's grab three logs. And I'll need some sticks. Got three sticks. And I've got now I have charcoal, so can't fire really quick here. And there we go. All right, this is going to be on the top. I do want to raise it up a little bit. Do I have dirt? In my inventory. Nope. We are going to have to raise it up a little bit just so it is above the roof 
Because uh, right now it's low enough that it looks kind of weird. So let's come over on this side. I'm going to put these down too. Well, you know, I'll wait to put those on. Come up here with the dirt for now. Okay. And finish this. Come up here. Ugh. We have to get a max going. If we have too much of the stone going on, it might look a little strange. We don't want to have happen. Yeah, we're gonna want these guys coming down a little more. That, and we can that one there. Then we'll put the upside down one in a second when we get down here like this. On. I think we'll see how this goes. So we have one there, we have one here like that. Okay, that's as far down as we want to go. So let's go ahead and bring these out. And this one right there. Go. One here. I had a question. I actually get this. Did I use those already? Man, okay. Um, how do you make upside down stairs? Um, it's, you know, it's, it's funny. It's, one of those things that I, I never really think about anymore, but, um, you know, placing the block, so your cursor is right here when you place a stair down, it'll make an upside down stair. And depending on how you angle around the stair, it can uh, make it uh, different shapes. I don't think we're gonna go back over to the stone mason table. I, sh I should actually bring that into my inventory just so uh, we don't have to keep on running back over there to getting stuff, um, but uh, I think just for Time purposes. Let's go ahead and put this in now. All right. Um, can I reach these guys? I think so. Uh, like that. Okay. And there. There we go. Okay. I am still gonna have to go up there to reach that top. But I think that is how we're going to do it. I don't love this part right here. Now that does not look good. Huh. Um. Hmm. Maybe, maybe what's the better thing to do is you put an upside down one like that. Yeah, and then I think what we need to do is get rid of this one right here. And we can put um, that in maybe. I want to get rid of these and just put regular um, of the oak in as well. Okay. All right, let's get back up here and we'll go ahead and uh, finish the roof. There we go. Okay. And this is correct. I think maybe what we want to do is instead of having the chimney go out this way, let's go ahead and have it go. Um, I want to have it go out this way, maybe. No, I think we want to go up a little bit more. So we'll go up like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, this will work. And then I'll put this one down like this. And then we'll come up like that. I think here is high enough. Yeah, that's gonna be high enough. So we can go ahead and grab our dirt again here so we don't get burnt by the campfire. All right, the campfire down and then we can put, um, grab our wall. We can put our wall on top like this. You can just kind of point towards the top of the campfire and it puts it down. And then we're gonna put our trap doors and they are all gonna be facing up. Uh, am I gonna be able to do this? Probably not, I have to come around here. Come up. This. I'm gonna try to do this before it comes to nightfall. Uh, and then we'll end the episode. And it's really, we didn't get done everything that we wanted to do today, but I don't want these episodes to go too long. So uh, that's why. I'm gonna be kind of quick about this. Here, there we go. Okay, we'll take a look at it in the morning. Okay, and there it is. That's the chimney coming up on the side. Eventually, we may want to make that uh, brick. I think maybe so it stands out a little bit better, or uh, stone uh, bricks might look good too. But uh, yeah, there's our house. It's coming along. It's uh, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but you know, it's it's not a bad starter house for us. And uh, we have some stuff that we need to do really quickly here too. Let's see if we can get these guys to breed one more time. And uh, let's see here. Yep, all right. 
keep these guys going and we need to see if we can get uh, an ink sack which having some kind of weapon would be good um, I think I need a feather too I don't think I have a feather I don't think I have an ink sack but I, I know I do have a book already so let's see what we have available to us um, yep no feather um, and no ink sack so we are going to look for those before we end today's episode um, I think I will do a little bit of editing on this just to make it um, less than yeah the super long episodes like I've been doing here so let's see oh there's a squid over there there wasn't one a second ago and now there is the pesky squid okay there's our ink sack and let's see if we can find a chicken really quickly okay here chicken over here here we are oh all right well um, another chicken let's see if we find another chicken all right, don't think I don't see you, Mr. Chicken. Seriously, two chickens, no feathers. Man. All right, after killing a couple of chickens and not getting any um, actual feathers, I thought what would be smarter is I could go ahead over here and uh, lure a whole bunch of these animals back to my base. You have sheep over there, too. Um, I don't think I want sheep in there just yet. Ooh, don't want to fall down there. Um over this way guys this is, this is the stuff in minecraft that can really eat up a lot of time <laughs> but uh you know what we need it we need it having the uh, a good supply of steak um having leather and having uh chickens um are going to be critical for our trades going forward so this is all good it's just taking a long time here we go let's go ahead and get these guys all breeding up It'll be good for us going forward okay and then we need a place for our chickens too so we can go ahead and build a little get these guys close by here okay Let's see if we can go ahead and build a little growl for them too um, I can always put a gate on later let's go ahead and put this off of here like this we go that is what I've been waiting for okay so we need a book this and we just make sure that we don't sign it <laughs> okay so we can put these in here and our ink like that and we have our book and quill excellent and my first ever question I haven't done this in any of my other series is from a long time viewer named Pog and uh, Pog asks how long have you been playing Minecraft? Well, I've been playing Minecraft since about 2000 and... Uh, well, I can say 10-ish, 2010, like late 2010, because my oldest son um, had the alpha version and um, he was playing with his friends on that one. I was helping them quite often, but I didn't actually start playing until my youngest was probably about five. I want to say around 2013 is when I started playing pretty much a lot and then I just started recording in 2019 so uh, I'm you know very happy to be doing this this is a lot of fun for me and that brings us to the end of today's episode and if you've enjoyed what you've seen and would like to see more from the dad sky in the future then um, click that like button smash the subscribe button and press that notification bell next episode I think we're gonna go into um, getting some of these farms set up a sugarcane farm and um keep the animals breeding and if we can we'll get a couple of flints and a couple of fletcher tables and we can get some fletcher trades going with our stick trades which is awesome okay until next time bye for now